By the end of this video, you're going to be able to build a Linktree style website using a no code website builder. And what's more, this website builder only costs $19 per year for the pro account with a custom domain. Now I'm sure you've been on a Linktree style website before. This came about because social media started to limit the number of links people could post on their platforms, especially platforms like Instagram. So what people did was they created a page that had links to all the relevant things that they wanted people who wanted to know more about them to look at. So for example, if you have built an app, you'll want people to look at your app, but you might also want them to take a look at your book, watch your latest YouTube video, follow you on Twitter, follow you on Instagram. And Linktree solved this by creating these profile pages with all the relevant links that people can put onto their page. So if we have a look at some of the templates here, this is what it looks like. A lot of them have the picture and then some text underneath, and then they have the links. And you'll notice that the social links are here as well. And as we scroll down, that's the theme for Linktree. Now with Linktree, you can style it and in any way that you like, like this person has as well, uh, where people can go into the Patreon, have a look at the different videos, check what this is as well. Um, so this is an idea for people to create that links. So a lot of people have taken this on and created their own Linktree style sites. Now, the tool that we're going to use to create this is called Card. And like I said before, this is a simple one-page website builder. It runs at $19 per year to have the pro features. And it's super simple to use. Now, as we scroll down, you can probably notice a couple of templates that we can use here for this. Here is one where if we actually have a look at the demo, they have the picture at the front, hi, I'm Molly, some text, social links, and then links through to different websites. So this is the idea again, very similar to Linktree. Here's another one here, which is has a darker background. We're going to have the picture, we have the social links, title, text, and then extra links here. So what we're going to do now is just build one out really quickly to show you how to use this website build and how to customize it so you can have it matching your brand and matching the way you want it to look. So all we need to do is click select. We're on the free plan here as well, so we're not using any pro features just yet. Now, if we click on the image, we can change this by uploading, and I'll do that right now. And then what we're gonna do is just change some of the text. So all you need to do is click on this text here. It's a drag and drop builder, and it's pretty easy to do. So what we need to do here is say expert basketball coach. Now that text is a little bit long here. It's gone onto two lines. So what we can do is just click on the appearance and then we can change things here. Now what we need to change is the size. So we'll bring this down so it fits on that line and, and fills that line too. There's a little text up here. Um, we can just have like name, for example. So we'll go back to the text and just put in a name, David Cress, first name that came to mind. And this part we can just put in like offering um, expert basketball coaching. Now, obviously we need to change this text to make it a little bit more on brand, a little bit more um, psychologically driven, more fun as well, but I'm just making this simple as possible for now. Now, the next stage is we have two boxes that we can change. The first one is icons. What we do is click on the icons. It has X. All you have to do here is enter the URL. So you just enter the URL for your Twitter um, or X as it's called. The same for Instagram, threads, Facebook, and email. Now the email could lead to a contact form somewhere else, or you can also embed contact forms on here. So I just upgraded to the pro plan, the free trial, and then at the bottom, I've just added in a form. Now this is pretty cool because that you can make it a little bit different. So it doesn't have to be just links to go to different pages. You can add a form in here. And I think that's a good idea. This is for someone to join your email list so they can take action directly on your page. We're going back to the box here, just to follow the theme. What we can do is change these icons to something else. So you might want to have, for example, you might have a book and you want people to buy your book. And then you can always change the order of these to make them move higher. So if I do that up here, we can move that one up there. We can move this one to the top as well. So you can drag the order differently. Now, seeing that this one has a calendar, what we might do is say, book consultation. 
And then what this can do is it can then go to something like Calendly or something like that. And then they can book a consultation with you. And then we can add more in as well if we want to. So this one has a button style. Um, let's just see, for example, a lot of people like to do YouTube. So if we scroll down, it's actually right at the bottom down here um, is that we can click on YouTube and then we can say, um, watch YouTube videos. Again, not the best text, but you get the idea. So then people, when they come on this, onto this page, you can lead them into where you want them to go. So you might even want to have the form up here to begin with if you want to lead people in to getting that free download or whatever it is that you are offering. Now, let's say that we're happy with this now. What we can do is click um, this button here and it goes over to publish. You can create an account here and you go down and you can say publish to a custom domain. And then what we need to do is add in the domain here and then follow the records to say, how do I do this? And then it will tell you exactly how to host that domain that you have bought on Card's website. Now, the benefit of doing this is that you, if you ever want to change it, you can just then change it to a different website builder and then have that domain point to that website builder. And then instead of changing your .card.co name and then not being able to redirect people, this is a way to have it so you're in complete control of that link. Then one more thing to show you, we can change the background color as well. We can have a gradient style background where we have um, going from gray to dark. And then you can change these. Let's just try it with purple. And then over here, we're gonna go with a darker purple or a lighter purple, sorry. You can change the angle of this as well to make it pretty cool like that, kind of like it there. And then in the background pattern, we can change this to things like this too. Have it smaller um, and then a little bit less thick and um, something like that. Now, obviously this is just something to play around with to match your brand style, but you can see how easy this is to get set up. And once you've published it, you can just make changes to it later too. So that is how to build a Linktree style website using Card. Now, if you want to learn more about building apps, automations, and websites using no code tools such as Bubble, Glide, Webflow, etc., then check out nocode.mba. Just click the link in the description or go to nocode.mba and check out this link here. So you get full access to 60 plus curated courses and projects. So this is project-based learning where you learn how to build a Zillow website, for example, and you go through it step by step. So then you can build something yourself. And be sure to read the reviews before you join, just to check out what other people are saying. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then please like and share it. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And like I say, check out the description for more YouTube videos and links to our website. Okay, thank you for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.